Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Have a concrete plan to build wealth. Have a concrete plan to build wealth. Look, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. We all wanna we we all wanna be wealthy, or at least make more money. And for some of us, it can happen fast. Some of us, it might take some time. But you want to build wealth. And when I say wealth, it's not even so much as having millions of dollars. That would be great. But having something like an um, income-producing asset, um, having asset, financial assets, liquid assets, or uh, owning property, or um, I don't know, just owning your car, whatever, stuff you can say, okay, this is an asset. Getting your debt down. You know, having more uh, income, having more assets than you do debt. You know, all of that is building wealth. Now, you want to, you need a plan and you need a concrete plan. Because, see, here's the problem. If you don't have a plan and you're just going along willy-nilly, you know, you save money this month or the next month you spend it like crazy or you buy all this extra stuff. Uh, You're not going to get any place. Indeed, uh, when I've talked about the financial houses, that's one of the issues with the house of the poor. They get money and they spend it. They get money and they spend it. They'll say they don't have that much money. And, you know, they'll spend it on, you know, little things. But if you really pay attention, they spend it on some things they don't really need. I mean, yes, they need to spend it on rent and food and all of that. That's cool. But you, you you always don't need that real expensive meat. You can want some good meat, but you don't have to be like, you know, top of the line. Or, you know, or the like most expensive product or something. But that's one, one thing that the poor tend to do. Now, one thing about, and the middle class does it too. Middle class does it too. In fact, they will spend more money, not just on their, you know, basics, but also wealth-reducing liabilities. They'll buy something just to keep up with the Joneses. Now, you want to think how the wealthy do. They are very, they use their money wisely. Now, if you're building wealth yourself, if you're building it yourself, even if you are making or or currently on a minimum wage job, you can build it. Are you going to build to a millionaire overnight? Yeah, probably not unless you create some product or some invention. But you can get in a better position than you were a year. In a year, you can get in a better position, at least a little bit better. And then a year after that, even better. And it's regardless of how much money you're making. If you have money coming in, you can do it. But you got to have a plan. You got to have a plan. You need to set some goals, like saying, okay, I want to have this much in your savings account. Okay, boom. Have a plan to do that. Okay, you're going to put away so much every week or whenever you get paid. You're going to cut back on spending on this particular product, which you can find uh, uh, just as an effective but uh, less expensive version of. Or instead of getting that late model car, you get that good economy car or you know you don't you don't need all the premium cable channels indeed you might say hey you know what instead of watching tv why not why don't i just get a part time job but that could be part of the plan you say okay how okay i want to save 1000 a month and yeah that's a lot for some people considering half the american population can't handle a 400 dollar emergency but if you say a thousand a month, and that's ambitious, but you say, okay, how how am I going to do this? Okay, is my plan? Okay, I'm gonna make all these cuts here. All right, that's giving me three hundred. All right, what else can I do? You know what? I have free time. Let me get a part time job, and take most of the money from it, and put it towards the savings. Boom! There you go. But that's a concrete plan. That's a concrete plan. You know, you got to think about it if you want to. You know, money's a tool. Money's a tool. So you have to be disciplined. You might have to put yourself on a budget. I've actually did that before. 
I did that before with money. It was when my senior year in college. And um, quite frankly, I was living uh, primarily off of student loans, you know. But I had, you know what, got me a couple, like, uh, work-study jobs. Got me a couple of them. It was really disciplined, really disciplined with how I ate. And I actually, I got it so much money, I was able to send some money home to my grandmother. That's how much I was, I was getting. But I had a plan. I had a plan. And when I say concrete, it's like it's doable. It's not some crazy thing where you say, hey, you know, like uh, one of these sitcom shows, hey, you know what, I'm going to play the lottery and really pray and, you know, have a, a priest bless this uh, lottery ticket and all of that. That's not concrete, you know. Or, oh, let me talk about that. You get, you do get some people who will spend a lot of money on a lottery. I remember there was a big jackpot. Now, I don't, I'm be honest, I don't pay attention to the lottery at all now. I used to because uh, my co-parent, when we were married, would pay more attention to it. But I've never, ever since then, I've never paid attention to it at all. So... You know, but I do be hearing uh, stories. There'd be like a billion dollar lottery or like multi millions and people spending a whole lot of money. I remember one time I heard about someone selling their entire house and buying lottery tickets. I was like, you got to be kidding me. That's not concrete. You know, concrete is okay, if I do this, I know I will make this much money. If I apply for a raise on my job, get more money, I know I will make more money. Uh, then I can put it towards this. I know I can get a part-time job. I know I can maybe get a little business started and provide this service because I already have some people interested in the service. Those are concrete. That's something that you can reach out and take care of right away. You know? And however it is, whatever you got to do, shoot, it could be babysitting. You know? It could be something, but something concrete. And just build it. Just be patient and stick to the plan. You know, don't do the plan for one month and then the next month you're like, oh, I don't care anymore. That's one thing about a plan. It's not going to hit. It's not going to like manifest the way you want it to right away. Well, no, let me take that back. You ain't going to get wealthy right away. It can manifest as, as if you stick with it. The moment you stick with it, it's manifested. So let me say that correctly. But whatever the case, have a concrete plan to build wealth. All right? So anyway, that's all I have for now. Let's go make that money.